with cookies. We have oven baked, our improvised oven, and oven toaster cookies. It's the same recipe, but we have three different methods and it will produce almost the same results. Hello everyone! These are the ingredients to make your chocolate chip cookies. It doesn't matter what method you choose, the ingredients are the same. These are the materials that you will be needing for this recipe. Kind prepare them in advance. You will need measuring tools, mixing tools, and baking tools. We are now going to measure butter. And in order to measure butter, we need to put increments on the bar. A bar of butter is one cup. Chop your measured butter into pieces and place them in a microwave safe container. Microwave on low or defrost as not to burn your butter. If you don't have a microwave, you can just melt it on a pan. The first step of baking is usually creaming. When we cream, we use sugar and butter or fat. When you measure brown sugar, make sure to pack it in. It contains moisture that needs to be packed in your measuring cup. When you are measuring other dry ingredients, you do not need to pack it in. You just need to overfill, cut, and sweep. You can see we are now repeating the measuring process on the white sugar to overfill, cut, and sweep. Mix your two sugars together and pour in your melted butter. The melted butter changes the texture and the appearance of your cookies. If you add softened butter, it makes a clumpier or a thicker cookie. Melted butter allows it to spread more. Once we mix the butter and the sugar together, just give it a whisk so that it incorporates well with each other. The next step of creaming butter and sugar is to add an egg. Make sure to crack the egg on a separate bowl so that you can check if your egg is still fresh and if there are shells within your egg. At this point, you want to whisk vigorously so that the egg will combine with your butter and sugar. If your bowl is moving all over the place, placing a dish towel underneath it will help stabilize your mixing bowl. Usually, the standard baking procedure calls for the vanilla at this stage. But as a tip, we shall use it later. Alright, so now we are measuring our dry ingredients and putting it over our sifter. Take note that when we are measuring dry ingredients, we do the same measuring method. That is to overfill, cut, and sweep. A tip to make chewy cookies is to add cornstarch in your dry ingredient mixture. Even though cookies is a predominantly sweet dessert, we add salt to balance the flavor. Some recipes call for baking soda and baking powder. Although they look similar, they actually feel differently. Baking soda is a lot more grainier than baking powder. Baking powder feels like flour. Once all the dry ingredients are in, give it a quick sift and we're ready to go. Before we begin, replace your whisk with a rubber scraper so that you may fold gently. Do not dump all your dry ingredients in. Cut and fold in order to incorporate all your dry ingredients into your creamed butter and sugar. You can also use 8 stroke. This is another folding method that is easier to use when combining more dry ingredients into your batter. When you are done with this, your batter will turn into dough. Add the vanilla after mixing in order to keep the aroma intact. 
And lastly, fold in your toppings. I chose two kinds of chocolate chips for my recipe. A dark bittersweet chocolate chip and a milk chocolate chip. Your dough is done. Chill in the freezer for at least one hour. Now we are about to show you the three different methods on how you can bake your chocolate chip cookies. You will be needing different materials depending on which method you will be using. If you do not have a gas oven, an electric oven is a suitable substitute. You will need to preheat your oven as well and prepare your cookie sheet or baking pan. Line it with aluminum foil if you don't want the burnt buttons. But some prefer this so you may opt to just grease your pan if you want a crispy bottom. After lining your pan, you can now shape your cookie doughs into balls. Make sure to evenly shape your cookie doughs. You may also use a weighing scale, especially if you are starting a business. Evenly shaped cookies will bring evenly baked cookies. After 12 to 15 minutes in the oven, your cookies are done. Now this method is by using an oven toaster. Again, shape your cookies as evenly as possible. Line your cookie sheet with aluminum tray so that it does not burn. This is essential for the toaster as the toaster has a higher heat. Toasting it in 5 minutes, your cookies are done. And now the last and final method is to create a makeshift oven with a pan and cover. The first step is to create a makeshift cookie sheet for each of the cookies using aluminum foil. If you want crispy bottoms, you can just use one ply or one piece of aluminum foil. But if you want it to be chewy, and not too crispy at the bottom, you use two ply for more protection. Make even balls dough, but this time press down to make a prettier cookie shape. This way, we're helping the cookie doughs to flatten faster. Since I'm using a nonstick pan, I'm heating it at the same time. You can preheat your cast iron pan or your Filipino kawali. After 5 minutes, turn off the heat and keep it in the warm enclosure. And there you have it, your chocolate chip cookies. The double layer safeguarded it from burning. Alright, this is our three method chocolate chip cookies. I hope you would be able to try any of these methods and I would like to know if you were successful. If you have any questions, kindly just let me know by emailing me or putting them down in the comments below. Bye!